A 26-year-old man has died from injuries he sustained during a mob attack outside Bulukwane in Limpopo last night and the marking of grade 12 examination papers has started in Limpopo. Ambusisi Wakhatebe with the latest news update. A 26-year-old man has died from injuries he sustained after he was seriously injured during a mob attack at the New Petersburg settlement outside Bulukwane in Limpopo last night. Police spokesperson Colonel Moche Mwape says the man was seriously beaten with all sorts of objects by community members who accused him of theft. Colonel Mwape explains. We are investigating a case of murder at the same time tracing the suspects involved in the murder of a plus minus 26 years old man who is from Zimbabwe staying at the New Petersburg outside Pulukwane. The incident occurred last night when the community in that area cornered this man being the deceased, suspecting him of a robbery incident. They started to beat him with multiple objects up until he became unconscious. He was taken to the show hospital whereupon he was certified dead on arrival. Minwang Ngope has warned community members not to take the law into their hands. We are therefore cautioning all members of the community to refrain from taking the law into their own hands. If they know about anything about anybody for them, is to inform us or to, is to arrest and call us to come, call us to come and collect that particular perpetrator. As of now, we are still investigating. Domestic financial markets opened weaker today after ratings agency Standard & Poor's warned it may carry out an unprecedented mass downgrade of Eurozone countries. The RAND and government bonds opened lower while the JSE started in the red. On the Joburg Bourse, resources stocks pulled the markets lower after commodity prices tumbled sharply. The overall index was down 0.6% at 32,633. On money markets, the U.S. dollar is changing hands at 8 rand 8. Sterling is worth 12 rand 63 and the euro costs 10 rand 82. And lastly, the marking of grade 12 examination papers has started in Limpopo. According to the spokesperson for the Department of Education, Pat Homo, there are 17 marking centers across the province. He says that the marking started without any problems. Everything started well and we hope everything will go on well. Our target is to make sure that by the 15th of December we have finished the marking and therefore be able to present our scripts to relevant authorities nationally and await for the results. The final results will be made public during the first week of January 2012. For our COP17 package, you can go to option 7 and catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak, option 1.